Okay, I've automated this shower. You notice the, the valve that you would usually use, the handle you use to control the temperature is in the on position at a nice temperature that I like. I've got a temperature indicating shower head here that I'll turn on in a moment. And I've also added a battery operated water valve there. And how that works is you push this little green button for go and red for stop. And now I'll show you how it works. So I push the green. You notice the light there is blue. That means it's cold. There's three other levels. Green means just right. And red is too hot. Well, it takes a while for my shower to get warmed up here. So I'm going to pause this while it warms up. But the idea of this is you set the shower handle to the temperature that you like, which means you don't have to fiddle with it each time you get in. And again, just green for go, red for stop. Either button works. Oh, it just turned green. You know, look at that. So that means it's ready to go. So that's all it takes. I'm going to write up a description of how to implement this. I want to show you how easy it is to set up this battery operated. Batteries are in here in the motor. Half inch water valve that I'm going to put on my shower to automate it. And here's a battery operated uh, remote control for it. Push button. So all you have to do to set it up. Hold this until it starts blinking green. Okay. Then hold this button until it starts blinking green. And then they're paired. And let me show you how it works when you use it. If you can see down in there the valve. It's opening. And I push the red, it closes. This is all done with no apps, no Wi-Fi, no internet. Just these two devices talking to each other with a YoLink proprietary D2D device-to-device -device connection.